Welcome back, folks. Right, so um, we carry on talking sport in the province, and of course, climbing is uh, uh, very active. Um, a lot of events happening at the moment, a lot of different activities. We're following them on their social media. Uh, Instagram page is one of the pages that I like to follow, Western Cape Climbing, um, where I see what's happening with um, climbing the Western Cape. Chris Nundia from, from uh, Western Cape Climbing is back on the line. Chris, uh, welcome back. Hi, thank you very much for having me again. I'm feeling quite at home here now. Yeah, absolutely. You're becoming our regular media spokesperson for Western Cape Climbing. In fact, you are our regular media spokesperson for Western Cape Climbing. Uh, Chris, but yeah, the energy is back. People are climbing. As, uh, the climbers are back and you've even got some big events coming up. Absolutely. We, we, we're battling to keep up at the moment. We've, we've just had a, an inter-club competition and we are heading straight into our uh, provincial championships next weekend. Uh, so at City Rock in, in Baden Island, we've got the lead climbing and speed climbing on, on the Saturday. And at Block 11 in Deep River, we've got the bouldering uh, on, the, on the Sunday. So th this is, a, this is a, a selection competition to choose our national team who's, who's going to take part in the national championships, which is also being held in Cape Town uh, in a month's time. Yes. So we've got, got our work cut out for us. So next weekend, or in fact, uh, yes, next weekend is your next. provincial championships, correct? That's correct, yeah. yeah. That might that, be a nice place if anybody wants to come and see what climbing is, what climbing competitions are all about. Uh, now that we're allowed spectators back again, um, it, it's, it'd be wonderful to welcome some new faces to interested to just come and have a look and see what it's all about. Yeah, so your Instagram page tells me that uh, they can still register by the 21st of February. But of course, this, this event is very important for you to be able to qualify for the Nationals. You must participate in the Provincials. Absolutely, yeah. That, this is our selection competition and uh, the top five in, in each uh, category will, will go through to the National team. Right. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the limit for, um, for, for the National competition. Chris, um, Let's talk a little bit about participation at the events. Um, uh, there, there seems to be quite a lot of family focus. Uh, is that something that, that you see when it comes to these, to these events, uh, moms and dads and kids coming together? Yeah, absolutely, JP. I mean, I've spoken about this before, you know, when people have asked me, uh, what, what are the secrets to success in, in climbing? And I guess it's with any sport is uh, parental support is vitally important. Yeah. If it's not for paying for it or co driving them around or uh, supporting them and encouraging them, then uh, we see in climbing, they, they get involved and, and end up climbing themselves if, if they weren't already climbers. So we've got two, two angles to the thing where, where sometimes the, the parents are, are the climbers in the first place and they introduce their children to climbing. Yes. And in many cases, it's uh, the children who go to a party, try climbing, uh, start taking to it and then the next thing the whole family is climbing and, and going on camping holidays and climbing in the mountains and, and all of that sort of stuff. So, so can it, you win a really family prize a... or, or, or do, the, uh, do the moms and dads compete individually? Uh, well, we, we don't know about that. It isn't a family prize, but it, it's a nice idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's some families who definitely take an, have an advantage there with um, four children all climbing, but... Um, Right. You've got a couple of big names there, though, of families that have been involved with climbing for a while now. Um, uh, comes to mind the, the LaRue family or the Krona family. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, they, they've both been incredibly helpful to, to the thing, apart from the children who are star climbers themselves. Yes. Uh, the parents are always there to help with the admin and the, and the, uh, the belaying and, and judging and all of the other things that we need to get done. So, yeah, we've, as I say, we've got at least 10 families that are well represented here that stand a chance of getting onto the, onto the podium. And, um, and, and we'll see, we, we see those people out on, on the mountains and yeah. uh, spending time together. Uh, I mean, I guess one of the things is that it is a, a fairly time-consuming sport. Our competition is not over in uh, 45 minutes or, or an hour and a half as in some sports but uh, you know it takes the entire weekend yes and, and that's a great uh, way for families to interact and do things together not only are you competing in the formal environment like you guys have got competition structures 
but when you just want to then do that sports activity in a social environment, you can go outdoors, you can go to the mountain and actually then do yeah, your absolutely. sports activity in a, in, a, in a more environmental space. Absolutely. I mean, it, it is very bonding for, for uh, parents and children to, to spend quality yeah. time in the mountains without, without distraction and just yeah. peaceful and, and uh, fresh air and all of the, all of the good things. Um, I mean, there's not and, a lot of sports that you have that you're able to do your sports compet competition activity in the competition environment and then go into nature and do it casually. You know, maybe something like cycling can come to mind, but uh, you, you don't ordinarily yeah. have that social engagement nature it, experience, which is fantastic. It, it does have, it does have a, a unique uh, ability, and I'm not saying there are no other sports that do this, but it, it's a kind of uh, sport where you, you can be chatting to, to one another and talking about all sorts of life stuff while you're busy climbing and, and doing your, your sport. So it, it, it really does have a, a, a very um, bonding effect on, on families. Chris, you've also got a program coming up uh, called Winning with Kids. I'm looking at your Instagram page, uh, Western Cape Climbing. That's your Instagram yeah. handle. Um, Winning with Kids, a talk for parents discussing ideal ways to support your child's participation in sport. Um, you, you've got a, 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 an, an event happening here specifically with um, a well-known sports, uh, um, uh, I suppose, psychologist, psychologist. Patty Upton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paddy Upton is, is, is very well known uh, in, in the environment and he's coached top level teams uh, in terms of the mental attitude to the game. And like many other sports, the mental attitude is critical to climbing. Um, in, in climbing, one has two things, the, the competitive side, where obviously the stress of competition is in any sport, uh, we've, but, but we've got a safety kind of stress as well you know when, you, when you're high up on a wall and, and you're scared of falling uh, the um, training your mind to to know what that you can do it and committing to the move is yeah. is quite a quite a, a thing to to get through and and I think that but it, it would appeal to any parent of children who are wanting to be top athletes I, I think so your climbing athletes Sorry. can obviously join up for, for that um, that workshop um, but then your, your, your event now, the big one that you're focusing on is the Western Cape uh, Championships on the 21st, or athletes must register by the 21st of February at City Rock yes. next week. And then you've got the Nationals coming up as well. The Nationals will be a month later, um, yes. 26th and 27th of March. And we're having those also in Cape Town. City Rock will once again host the, um, the lead and speed climbing. And uh, Block 11 in, in Pardon Island, just around the corner, will be hosting the the boulder competition chris fantastic stuff so, we leave it at that very exciting provincial champs south african championships uh moms and dads and families participating um yeah. and of course i think if folks want to find out more they can uh, obviously f uh, visit your website and, and and now your instagram page yeah yeah absolutely uh, our, our website's got all the information that you need to join and and uh Yes. and come and find out we, we're very happy to to take you through and, and introduce you to climbing if you if you're keen to try it out um there's always a volunteer to to uh, assist and, and show people the ropes literally there we go folks chris nordia uh western cape climbing so you heard it there big events coming up western cape championships is coming up at city rock next week Climbers need to get registered by the 21st of February. Um, love the fact that there are families getting involved there, moms and dads and kids that are either climbing um, or even helping as officials, maybe coaching, and as Chris said, uh, also assisting with, with technical elements. And then, of course, the Climbing South African Championships coming up. Um, and so this event coming up next week is a uh, qualification tournament or competition for the South African Championships, which comes up on the 26th and 27th of March. Remember, you can get down to City Rock and watch the Western Cape Climbers then uh, next weekend. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking sport in the province. Back in a sec. Bye-bye.